Hello friends, welcome to our show. Yeah. You might not be our friends now, but you will be. So coming up on the show this week, we will be speaking to the one and only Gabriel Batistuta. Been trapped underneath a bridge. Frank Ribery looks like he lives on the side of a church. He does. He just goes there at night and perches. Defends the church. Yeah, exactly. He, he defends it, which is ironic because really he's a winger. Rod Wallace looks like a seal. I don't think anyone remembers who Rod Wallace is. I remember him playing, he used to play for Rangers and before that Leeds he United. He did play for both those two people. One of many of those players from the 90s that would never have made it in the top league now. Not a chance. Who? Rod, Rod Wallace. Rod Wallace. Ron? Rodney. Ron. <laughs> Ron Wallace is a... Uh... Ron Wallace is a doctor. <laughs> I'm here with our special guest of the week, Francesco Totti. Grazie. <laughs> Francesco, thank you for, for coming today. Thank you for letting me come today. Who did you play for just now? I don't know. <laughs> Roma. Roma. That's the last time I played, the last time I played for. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I would expect you to, to know that. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, I like uh, long walks on the beach, mm-hmm. uh, crockery painting, spy novels, and... <laughs> <laughs> um, how did, what's your greatest achievement? Um, uh, my 25 metre swimming badge. I thought your... I for one thought your greatest achievement might have been um, winning the World Cup 2006. Yes, that's my biggest achievement. Can you ride a horse? Are you asking me to do it? No. Uh, yes. What's inside Paul Ince's shed? A duck playing golf and a bee. This section of the show is called A Seance with... We don't know yet. Who? It could be anyone. We're going to find out. We are going to find out right now. Who do you think it could be, Jack? Well, I hope it's Pelly. Spirit, are you there? Oh, there is a spirit in the room. It's definitely not Michael Jackson. Is it... Dan Petrescu. Yeah! Nice. So that was that a seance was... with Dan Petrescu. My name is Michael McMichaelson, and this is Extreme Soccer Tactics. My challenger this week is Angelo Della Russo. And this is Extreme Soccer Tactics. Well, Michael McMichaelson thinks that the introduction of Eden Hazard has been very important. Plays a Trey Artista behind the number nine. Some people tell Michael McMichaelson that he's not extreme because he wears a bike helmet. You know what I say? You're a fool! Angelo De La Russo thinks if I was England manager, I would play walk-up and an attacking right midfield role. Extreme! Michael McMichaelson thinks Brendan Rodgers has brought absolutely nothing. Angelo De La Russo would be absolutely furious if one of my players had the disrespect to be sent off one of my games. And I would say, hey you, get out of here! Line midfielder, spraying passes from 60 yards. Keyboard destroyer in midfield with an advanced playmaker. If there's two things in this world Michael Mamaksa knows, it's being extreme and soccer tactics. Real Madrid beat Barca and everybody cried. Especially Ronaldo. He cried a lot. Because he was very sad. And then there were some games and Swansea signed Michael Loudrop as manager. And he was okay. Then there were some games in other leagues, like Italy, which has a league, and used to be on Sunday afternoons. James Richardson. Thanks for watching our show. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Hello, friends. Hello. Welcome to the Fitbar Team show. There's going to be lows happening today, such as... We're going to review FIFA 13. Then later we're going to listen to Sting's Greatest Hits.